hi everyone and welcome in our primary youtube channel we have created this many videos regarding backnet and node red that if you want to read any backnet device data in the node red then how you can read it okay and we have specifically used a node backnet country extended node to read the backnet device data now from this series we are going to use this node node rate country backnet node to read the data from backnet device okay in this video we are going to send the whois request across the network to get the list of available backnet devices in the network and then after in the next video we will read the backnet ip device data in the node rate okay using backnet read node now in uh, this uh, package you will get three nodes okay you can see backnet read backnet write and backnet command node now this backnet command node is used to send the whois request okay and this backnet read node is used to read the data from different different uh, backnet device points okay and backnet write node is to write the data to backnet device so first of all we will cover the backnet command node to send the whois request and to get the list of available backnet devices so let's see uh, how you can do that okay so here you can see uh, my raspberry pi is up and running in my network okay and i have uh, run the node read from my raspberry pi and my raspberry pi ip address is 192.168.1.11 and here you can see my node read is also running on the same uh, ip address 192.168.1.11 colon 1880 now i will open or i will run my backnet ip device in my windows machine okay so i am going to open room controller simulator okay and it is running in my windows machine now let me show you something okay so how how does the, this things work okay so here is our windows machine and inside that windows machine so here is my windows machine okay and the ip address of this windows machine is 192.168.1.8 okay so i hope this thing is clear and here is the ip address of my windows machine now inside this windows machine my uh, room controller simulator is running room simulator okay and uh, my raspberry pi is also in the same network so here is my raspberry pi okay here is my raspberry pi and uh, here is my router or you can say the common uh, local area network so it is connected to this one so my windows machine is also connected to this uh, router and my raspberry pi is also connected to this router okay and this is the router okay so both the devices are connected to this router and raspberry pi is having the ip address of 192.168.1.11 now our room controller simulator will run on this windows machine and our node read will run on this raspberry pi so we will be running node read in raspberry pi okay and here is our room controller simulator now from the raspberry pi we are going to read the data or we are going to browse this room controller simulator and we are going to read the data so uh, this is to make it understand that this should be in the same network okay if it is in the different network then you won't uh, be able to read and here is the uh, sorry here is my mistake the ip address is 192.168.1.8 okay so let me correct it ip address of windows machine 192.168.1.8 and ip address of my raspberry pi is 192.168.1.11 okay so this is the structure kind of a basic structure now i have used this ip address to launch my node read and here is my room controller simulator which is running in my windows machine now we will use raspberry pi and the node read to browse this device okay so let's see how you can do that so here is our node read okay let me exist it yeah so here is our uh, flow to uh, fetch the device list okay in the node read so here is the timestamp node which will do nothing which will inject the timestamp only that's it then after we have this backnet command node okay inside the backnet command node the command we are going to set is 
which command okay so it will you know go to the network and it will search the backnet devices across the network now the main thing is device and the client so in the device you have to provide the ip address or ip address range of your backnet device okay so here you can see either you have to put the backnet device ip or uh, the simulator ip where your simulator is running so right now my simulator is running in my windows machine okay you can see in my windows machine my simulator is running so that's why i have to provide my windows machine ip address and here in the client we have to provide the local system ip address so in the client i mean my Raspberry Pi is acting as a client because uh, you can see we are running NordRed in our Raspberry Pi. And here is the IP address of my Raspberry Pi 192.168.1.11. Okay, so here you have to provide the IP address of your backnet device. So if I click on this pencil, then here you can see 192.168.1.8. So here is the IP address of my Windows machine because my simulator is running in my Windows machine. And here you have to provide the Windows IP address if your simulator is running in the Windows machine. Or here you have to provide the backnet device IP address. Okay. And if you have used some gateway, so MSTP2 IP gateway, okay, which is connecting multiple backnet devices, then you have to provide the IP address of that gateway here. Okay. And that's it. Then after in the client, you have to provide your local system IP address. Local system IP address in the sense in which your Node-RED is running. So right now my Node-RED is running on my Raspberry Pi. So I have to provide the Raspberry Pi IP address. So if I click on this pencil here, then you can see the interface I am using is 192.168.1.11. So here is the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. You can see here and the broadcast address is 192.168.1 and .255. And the port number is 47808, which is, you know, standard for the backnet. That's it. Okay. So this is how you have to configure it. And once you configure it, all you have to do is the inject. Okay. So once you inject it, you will see array zero, no device found right now. You can see array one. So there is a device found. So it will send two who is request. Okay. And in the second who is request, you will get your device. So if you expand here and if you expand the devices, if you go to object and if you go to header payload and in the payload you will see the device id 1867817 and it is matching 1867817 okay so using this node we have successfully sent the whois request and this device has responded to that whois request that i am available for data exchange okay so this is how you can use this node or you can say the backnet command node and if you want to uh, install this node then you can use this command npm install node red country backnet or you can directly copy this okay you can go to your node red you can go to manage palette and here directly you can search it okay and here you can see it is already installed in my system okay so this is how you have to install that package in the node grid and this is how you have to use the backnet command node with the whois command to send the whois request across the network to find the available backnet devices okay so i hope this thing is clear okay and if you still have any confusion then you can always put your confusion in the comment section or you can ask your questions in the comment section and i hope this structure is also clear that in my windows machine i have this room simulator and my windows machine is having ip address of 192.168.1.8 and my raspberry pi is having ip address of 192.168.1.11 and uh, uh, in the Raspberry Pi, we are running the node red and my node red will send the whois request across my network and this room simulator will respond to that whois request and here we have the detail of that uh, device. Okay, you can see the device ID is matching. Now, the same way we are going to read the data from this device, you can see temperature set point, this uh, water temperature, external temperature, room temperature and heater status, chiller status, everything we can read from this room controller simulator. So that thing we are going to cover in the next video. Okay, so I hope this thing is clear. Okay, and if it is not clear or if you have any doubt, then feel free to comment on this video. So let's meet in the next video with the backnet read uh, things. Okay, so how to read all the backnet uh, device data in the node read. So stay tuned for the future videos. Till then, take care. Goodbye and thank you.